Hello and welcome to Chart of the Day Cafe for Thursday, August 23rd, 2018. Trading stocks has a high level of risk and viewers should complete their own due diligence on any stock or underlying that they intend to own. 100% of the content of this video and communique is intended for journalistic and educational purposes only. This video and all indicators, strategies, and articles herein should not be construed as investment advice. Always Good morning, Sue here. Hope you've had a good week so far. I've got a very busy morning, so I'm going to keep today's video on the short side. And I'm just going to review two past Chart of the Day Cafe picks that look pretty good here, should this market strength continue. But with that, let's get into today's video. Uh, I always start off with a look at the Russell Index. I always want to make sure that I take a look at the markets and have a feel for which direction the markets are going in, up, down, or sideways. And so I step back and take a look at things on a bigger time frame, the five-year monthly. So we are looking at the IWM, which is the ETF for the Russell 2000. Stepping back to take a look at it on that big five-year monthly time frame, uh, these are monthly candles. My pink line is short-term support resistance, orange is medium, and blue is long-term. So we're really just focusing on this area up here. As you can see so far for the month of August, we've got a bullish candle shaping up, bounced off support. That's the monthly look. I'm going to zoom it into the uh, weekly. So here we are on the weekly, same uh, orange line of medium support, pink of short term. I use this blue line as my guide, this 8-day EMA, as long as the 8-day EMA is uh, supported by price. I'm adding new names to my watch list. I like to see it supported on both the weekly and the daily. So as you can see on this weekly chart, uh, we bounced. We went sideways for a while, but we have resumed the trend higher on the Russell. And price is up above that 8-day EMA on the weekly. Now let's go take a look at it on the daily. There's the daily. So uh, price strength is continuing. So with that, I'm going to profile two past Chart of the Day Cafe picks that I think might be worth keeping an eye on in the days ahead. And the first of those to keep an eye on in the days ahead is Google, ticker symbol G-O-O-G-L. It was our Chart of the Day Cafe pick back here on May 31st, green circle. Uh, it's had a beautiful run since then. It has since come into this area of support. And should the markets continue higher today, I would say suspect that Google will also lift from this area and start to resume that uptrend. So I am all about um, price being up and over the blue. It is early yet, uh, but I would be looking for a trigger on Google in the days ahead. Again, should that market strength continue? It's all about the markets overall going higher. So I'm zooming into the three-month daily. Uh, it's consolidating sideways. Again, I'm going to be looking for lift up and over the blue. The second one is Phillips 66, which we put forward back here. Uh, I forget the exact day, but Green Circle Day in June. It sort of came up and then uh, danced around our area of support for a while and then took off, zoomed away. It has since come in and it's paused, looking for direction. We've got two dojis in a row, right at our blue eight-day EMA. Again, with continued market strength, I'd be looking for PSX to move higher as well. So I checked the scores on both this morning, just to review Google, still has a really nice high value score. A forecasted earnings growth rate, and these are all updated as of today, of 17%, and a current PE of 27.32. Uh, PSX, Philip 66, has a very nice high value score. A current forecast earnings growth rate going forward of 22%, a current PE of 14.29, and a dividend yield of 2.73%. So those are two to keep an eye on in the days ahead. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Thank you for watching today's video. As a reminder, they go out every Tuesday and Thursday morning. Have a great weekend.